Hello, and welcome to Bluebeamer and Docsland. This series of short videos is aimed at those using programs, like Bluebeamer View, to get comfortable with similar workflows using BIM 360 Docs. These videos will also be helpful to those learning BIM 360 Docs for the first time, even if the workflows are new. Now let's dive in. Today's video, how to create issues in BIM 360 Docs. Here we are inside of the BIM 360 document management portal. I'm going to go to the plans tab and I'm going to take a look at my RVT or my Revit folder. Now these folders can be named whatever you want. I just have to be named them after the content that's inside. So I'm going to select my lower level view and as you can see we currently have no issues created inside of there. So I select on my view. Now that our view is clear I have the ability to decide what it is that I want to do or if I need to make an issue. So let's take a look inside here and I can zoom into this area and I see that we have two sinks there and they should only be a single. So I can select my issues, I can create a new issue and the first thing that I need to do is I need to put a location where the issue goes. So this creates a little yellow push pin that says I have a new issue. Give it a name, a little description. We can then assign a user to it. Uh, where is the location? And then we can even give a date when it should be completed by. And there we go, we have created a new issue. Once an issue has been created, it will send an email to those who need to respond to the, to the issue and they can simply just click view issue and navigate to the issue and do what they need to do as far as their needs for that issue. We will also see it if I close out of here and we navigate to the issues tab we will be able to see all of the issues that either I have created or are assigned to me. We can see that I've created all of these issues and the ones that are in highlighted in blue have been assigned to me. You will also notice that anyone that has a red date means that we're close to time for that a due date of that particular issue and those should be the ones that we address first. We also have the ability that if we select one of the issues inside the issue tab to see all the detailed information so far uh, whether or not there's any attachments and if we wanted to add an attachment you can simply either bring an attachment from within inside the project or you could upload something from your computer. So say for example we want the sync to look like this. We also have the ability to track all of the activity so everything that's happened inside of this particular issue from when it was created until when it gets closed. We can also add in comments. This is the sync we need and say send and then it adds that comment into the trail so all the activity is now tracked. If we look up in the top corner, we can see the status of the issue. Open, answered, and closed. Only the person that opened the issue can close it. However, answered is what you would do if you're the person that is in charge of the issue. So for example, we sent this issue to Andrew Architect. Once they have a comment, they can answer it. And then once it's answered, the person that created it can choose to close the issue if they feel it's satisfied. Now, well, when we were creating this particular issue, we created it on a Revit sheet. Issues can also be created inside of the PDF environment. And as you can see here, we have one issue. So if I were to click on this sheet and navigate in, we would be able to see that there's an issue. And this particular issue happens to be blue, which means that it has been answered. We also have the ability to create issues inside of a 3D environment. So if I were to scroll down we see we have one issue here inside of this 3D environment. If I click on the dialog box and if we navigate around we see it there and we can click on the issue and it will bring us right to it and let us know all the information about that particular issue. Any attachments and what sort of activity has been going on with that particular issue. And with that we now know what we can do with issues inside of BIM 360 Docs. I hope you enjoyed today's video and we'll come back for some more. Have a good day.